What's up everybody and welcome to The Creator Show, the new and improved version of Developer Showcase, the show we've been kind of spitballing and working on for the last few weeks. Uh, I'm your host Jack in the Blocks, joined by Blockhawk as always, and we've got a very special episode for you this time. In addition to the very fancy nice border thing you're seeing around you, yeah. we've got a very cool guest today, the creator of Death Run 2, Wesley. Say hi, Wesley. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Wesley, you might know me as the lead developer of Death Run. Uh, I'm currently working on a bunch of other projects as well, mainly Death Run 3 and Crystal Case Flooding. There you go. So. Uh, Death Run 2, for those of you who are not uh, familiar, is a game where you are running and trying to not die. It's a, <laughs> you know, a very succinct uh, title. You've got a group of people, you're all trying to get uh, through this obstacle course and to a specific person who is uh, trying to kill you, and you're trying to get him before you uh, get killed. Succumb to one of his, his many traps. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. It's very exciting. It's uh, one of the more popular games on Roblox. Kind of uh, one of those, like, one of the biggest games of uh, 2014. Mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to showcase it because he's working on the uh, sequel for it. So, uh, thanks for joining us, Wesley. Yeah. I'll side again. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, to get us kicked off, um, uh, tell us where you're from. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, uh, in the south in Brabant, uh, which is... Like near Belgium somewhere, <laughs> um, and I've been living there for my entire life. Awesome, very cool. What's your favorite uh, uh, thing about living in the Netherlands? I think just the typical Dutch people and all the kind of different foods that we have. Typical like we have Dutch people Dutch is like, really <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely. For those of you that don't know, I'm uh, my heritage is Dutch, and so it's fun talking to Wesley because he says things the way my grandpa used to say things. <laughs> so the phrase "typical Dutch" is like oh, a, a thing. it's a typical okay. Dutch phrase. I, yeah, I lived in Holland, <laughs> Michigan for a while, which is very pretty Dutch much, town. Pretty much so the same thing. Yeah, we all have this thing going together. <laughs> this is amazing. We like cheese covered in wax, <laughs> cookies shaped like windmills, and yes. large wooden yeah. shoes. Yes, that's that's, that's what we the, the things we all, all right. share. Um, so to, let's uh, let's kick off. Let's jump into uh, some death run. All right, so yeah. we can get to some action. I lost but, there for a second. You could hear the music start, yeah. but now we're gonna do it for real. For real, because there's intense music there in this is. game. Whoa. Boom! Look at that, the BlocksCon 2014 Hall of Fame Award, Action, action Game of the Year. Yeah. We love this game here around the office. It is Kate. This is, this is excellent. Oh, <laughs> good. Down. But um, so why don't we uh, tell us about kind of how Death Run came to be? So a very long time ago, which I think is four years now, um, I saw a lot of videos on YouTube about this force game mode by the name of Death Run, and I thought, oh my god, this is amazing, and I wanted to play it. Now at the time, I did not have Carry's mod, and Source um, was limited to that, and also I think Counter Strike was one of the games that had it. Um, and then I started looking into Roblox development. I did make some roller coasters in the past, but I haven't actually created a good game yet. So then, me and a bunch of friends, we just started fiddling around with Roblox Studio, and that is basically how Different was born. Very cool. Um, so you mentioned teams. Uh, we should give a. You want to give a shout out to some of the people who have uh, helped you make your game. So, first of all, it's myself, I'm the lead developer, then we have somebody uh, who's currently also a co-developer and he's the one behind all the map building. He creates the lobby, he creates the maps, the plugins that we use to create maps and his work has been amazing so far. Uh, we also have SpaceX, um, I think he's called NW SpaceX now. Um, he works on a lot of the features that are just way too complicated for us to make ourselves. Um, he's currently working on a new feature that allows <laughs> us to walk through other players, so that will be very interesting for Death Run 3. Uh, and then we also have uh, Raider Killer. He's currently new to the team. He's going to work on Death Run 3 as well. And we have Faley Boar. Uh, he's currently working on the back end for Death Run 3 uh, by the name of Cloudy, and that is very promising so far. Very cool. Wow, so you got a big team. That was bigger than I was expecting. Yeah. That's very cool. So we've kind of grown since Death Run 2 exploded over the last year. When you're so, let's talk about Death Run Three a little bit. When you're mm -hmm. kind of planning that out, like, what are the ideas for how you want to make it different from Death Run Two? So, Death Run Two is currently it is a very fun 
game to play, but it gets repetitive after a while. Uh, there's a lot of static traps in there, and you play the same course over and over again, and after just playing it for a bunch of rounds, you know what's up, mm -hmm. you know what this trap is going to do. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we really try to improve with Death from Tree is uh, interactivity. So, for example, there will be traps that don't directly kill you, uh, but you will, for example, have to try to escape in time. Um, and there will be a bunch of other mechanics, such as a power-up, uh, there will be a crown that you can actually grab from a level somewhere, and if you bring it to the end, then you've got a, a, a coin boost. And also a bunch of other things that we can't really talk about yet. <laughs> okay, very cool. The anticipation. Yeah. Yeah, it's real. It hurts. <laughs> the, uh, so what, what are you most proud about with Death Run 2? Like, what's the thing that really... Deferent is, in essential, a very simple game. I think the first Deferent that launched in 2010, I think was just a modified version of Hide and Seek, and it was so simple, but what makes it great is the fact that we have all these detailed maps. Uh, the community is great as well, they just like playing it over and over, and they are very skilled at it. And just the combination of those two makes it amazing for me. Were you surprised at all by like how good the community got at it? Because I go in now and some people was, are just like, they play it like with their eyes closed. Yeah, so when Death from 2 first launched, uh, we've had dozens of hours of playtesting. And that caused me to just ace every course within like two minutes and it wouldn't be fun anymore. And right now when I join the game, I just get killed every time because <laughs> other people are so good at it. <laughs> I like to play in the game w with someone who does know everything that's going to happen and they can kind of guide me. Exactly, through, like, yeah, and you will just let that person go in front. Yeah, they have the pro strats. Yeah, that's a really good strategy. Uh, here's, yeah, we got Andrew's player right now and he's he's in that dangerous, like, trailing position. Yeah, I'm not sure where the killer is. Oh, he's... Oh, he's way past. around. Yeah, he's not paying attention to you. <laughs> he doesn't think you're a threat. Let's go prove him wrong. I'm coming up there. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know it, but I have a cape. You. Cool. Uh, would you give a, a, a get well soon shout out to a Zombody who yeah, is, so is going to be on the show with us? He was going to be on the show today. He's currently sick and bad. Unfortunately, I wish he was here. So All get right. better. Feel, be feel better, Zombody. So what does yeah. Zombody do on the team? Um, he's a genius behind all the map building, so all the fancy maps that you see, most of them are actually made by him. We do actually have, I think, four maps made by other community members, but he has been the one who is providing the plugins that were used to make most of them, and also some of the mechanics like the buttons that you see and uh, some of the scripts behind the traps. Very cool. Um, the when you're is that boring? Yes. <laughs> boring what did troll I just do? you. Sorry, I just He's, jumped into a hole. Just jumped straight in the right water. Right I was about to get the sword with Boring. Anyway. Uh, boring yeah, will, will, I've will always found, you. I've always found the maps to be in Death Run like among the most striking visual creations in Roblox. So you see a lot of awesome showcase builds. These are kind of like showcase builds turned into actual game levels. Like yeah. they're, they're of that quality where you just feel like they feel so good to play and they work super well. Yeah. That is one of the things that we're most proud of, but it does come with the downside that it is really hard to add new maps to the game because they just take right. I think on average 30 hours to create. Yeah, That's... each one of these each one of these maps looks like, you know, it's a kind of a game of its own. It's got to have the traps, yeah. it's got to have beautiful design. There's so much that goes into each one of these, so totally get that. They take right. a long time to create. It's it's definitely something to kind of like look at and I'm, and we're noticing it more in Roblox games that people uh, like obbies in particular are starting to become more visually dynamic and people are putting a lot more work into it. They're no longer just like floating in space as much. Yeah, and, and I would say that like Death Run kind of gets some of the credit for that in creating these kind of like cool obstacle course adventure games that also have this kind of like dynamic theme and are kind of visually cohesive. So I think that's something to uh, really think about for all you other uh, aspiring game devs out there. Um, even if you're just making an obby, uh, kind of like think about your your visual themes and what you kind of want it to look like and and the the message you're conveying because that actually adds a lot to the experience. Mm -hmm. um, and definitely thing I of that. do really like is the fact that a lot of players are just playing Defron and becoming really skilled at just obstacle courses in general. And then there are these impossible obby places that people make and they think no one is able to solve it. And then a Defron comes in and just <laughs> hates it. Yeah. yeah, there's yeah. no way you don't pick up some legit skills by playing this definitely. game. Absolutely. They're, they're, the, they're the 360 no scope of obbies <laughs> right now. Um, Death Runners. 
Can we? Can you talk a little bit more length about the sort of debate that's happening between whether players can contact one another when they're playing the new Death Run? Um, what do you mean by debate? Like, uh, I, I noticed like on Twitter that you're asking people whether they would prefer um, that you be able to bounce off other players, or if there's no collisions oh, yeah. between so, players. Currently in Death Run 2, um, and as in every other Roblox game ever, you collide with other characters. Now, this is usually not really an issue because you want that to happen. Uh, but with Death Run, this means that if someone jumps on top of you, you just fall into a pit, or you just accidentally bump into someone and you die, and that causes unfair deaths, and a lot of people get mad about that, which yeah. I totally understand. So we've been looking into a way to actually make that not happen anymore by disabling the character collision. Now that's very tricky to do because Roblox is not supported. Um, so we've used all kinds of tricky methods, and we do have a working prototype so far. But it causes you to lose your clothing. So, <laughs> ah, uh, right. it's, yeah, so, it's a bit like, do we want gameplay or do we want players to keep their visuals? Like one of those naked marathons now. Like, yeah, <laughs> little, little crazy. Um, has there been kind of like any feedback from the community from people who like prefer the collision? So I've put up a poll on Twitter and. Almost everyone prefers no collision okay. over uh, character visuals, which I think is cool. And if we're actually gonna implement that in the actual game, we might go with uh, predefined characters, such as, for example, Loaders does in his, his games, Murder and Matt Painball. Okay, yeah, that could work. So yeah. that might be one way, because I think having non collidable characters would actually really benefit uh, the gameplay. For sure. I kind of like the uh, the predefined characters as a whole because it kind of helps you like build a brand for your games yeah. like i think and it also uh, allows us to balance characters yeah absolutely i think lawless is kind of a good example of that as someone who kind of like now he has characters that people recognize and they they have a favorite and i think that's kind of interesting um mm -hmm. ultimately i also like showing off my terrible outfit to as many <laughs> people as possible so there's kind of there's a balance in that but i think uh, the predefined characters can be very cool if they're neat characters yeah, we'll try to have them dressed up nicely. That'd be cool. Awesome. Um, do you want to talk about your upcoming game project? That's the one that's not Death Run? Uh, that's Crystal Cave Sledding. So yeah. Crystal Cave Sledding is kind of this infinite runner thing that you know from uh, all kind of phones. So you have, obviously, uh, you have Temple Run, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. You have Minion Rush and all these fun games, and we're kind of... Uh, combining that with an old Roblox game, I think it was called Slide Down the Pipe to VIP or something. <laughs> yeah, 999 yeah, miles for VIP Abby admin yeah. player points. That's a, that's one of my favorite Roblox games. <laughs> Those kind of games. So we're kind of mixing them together. And that is currently resulting in an endless cave generator that just creates a never ending slide with all sorts of obstacles in between. Oh, wow. So you okay. won't have to. Uh, slide on your slat through the cave and you have to uh, dodge pillars, you have to jump over gaps and collect points. This sounds like something I want to play. Yeah, let's let's check this out right now. Maybe yeah, I will. Here you guys go. For those of you who haven't seen it, this is your first exclusive look. Exclusive because also, you haven't clicked uh, it yet. Most of the time in paid access, you can actually go play it right now for free if you want. Oh, oh it's free right now. Yeah, access there you go. It's, uh, it looks like we're spinning up a server right now. It's taking yeah. a, a moment. <laughs> I like it's all our little messages. Cave, so it does take a while. Oh, I see. Oh, is that what that is? Okay, it's interesting. Right, that would make sense. In that, I'm in the sky, at the moment. Yep, sweet. It's a sweet looking sky. <laughs> um, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna be uh, playing some of this. Um, after we play some of this, that's gonna be question time for you guys. So start thinking up questions that you want to ask uh, Wesley. And in addition to questions, uh, we're also looking for suggestions about what you really want to see i think you click on it um about man i recognize this music where's this music from um castle crashers yes it is castle crashers <laughs> that's awesome i love the game um sorry uh think up suggestions for what you most want to see like in death run like some new feature or stuff like that that's going to be the next mode after this so so start thinking of those don't put them in the chat yet um but yeah start start brainstorming about cool things you want to see and then, uh, all right, this is fun. This is cool. Look at this. I'm half, like, doing half pipe tricks. Oh, almost a full. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It, it's, it's like the, uh, here comes, here comes a bro sliding, <laughs> sliding on this side. 
Way past you. How do you do that trick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. I'm here with you, bro. Whoa. Thanks, guy. Flavored Bob Cake, is that what the guy's name is? That's awesome. I don't know. Um, this reminds me of, uh, did you ever play like the Chaos Emerald zones for Sonic the Hedgehog yeah, 2? Yeah. Whoa, uh, look at that. Oh, those are great. Oh, no fall. Oh, he fell. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, so here. currently, um, there are a few things missing that we couldn't get in at the last moment because somebody unfortunately got sick. Oh uh, man, there's... somebody yeah. got sick. <laughs> so there are supposed to be crystals that you can collect. Those currently do not spawn. And there are a few pits that are supposed to kill you, but they don't. So okay. we have to I think we, we, we just set. found one of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, now your body parts are just sliding down the cave. <laughs> For a second, we got a glimpse of the uh, the outside of that. That it was very long. It is. <laughs> it. Currently, it can be infinite, <laughs> but we're kind of limited by uh, the amount of studs Roblox allows you to build up. In right. The air. Yes. Oh, you're There's taking it out to the max. To, ah, there to the go. max. There you go. I like this to take like, fire in here. This is a cool lobby area. Yeah. It's very neat. Uh oh. It's a lot. There you go. Picking a sweet, there we go. Yes. This is like, awesome. the, it feels a lot like when you're entering, you know, starting a roller coaster or starting a water slide. Water slide and you're kind of like, you're, you're, you're moving. You're bouncing around, you're like, like, oh man. It's totally like that. Cool. So right. you can control your slat with WASD. Uh, if you get stuck, and I should not tell you this, you can boost with E. It's like a debug feature. Oh. Oh! <laughs> that guy was going uphill. All the way back. Oh, I guess it boosting all the way back up. It's very cool. All right. Nope, nope. Oh, that? So that's the. <laughs> so you can slide. You can still slide on your side like that. Oh Are man. Are you able to boost up it? Oh. With E. I oh, pushed sure. push space bar. <laughs> Whoops. Nope. Reset. Nope. <laughs> and that. Whoa. Woo! There they go. Okay. I swear I'm gonna pass it. We're this gonna get time. it this time. Pass that chasm. Those side chasms. That's super cool. So I wasn't noticing, I played this a couple times before and I actually totally didn't notice that the cave was different uh, when I loaded it in. Uh, so it generates randomly every time you join a game, which I think is amazing. Very cool. So we're all, that's neat. So everybody's like, everyone in here is playing the same thing. So you can kind of yeah. have it like, you can do a cool competitive like, Thing within so your servers. One of the modes that is currently planned is a racing mode, so I think that would be very interesting. That would be awesome. I would I would love for more racers on Roblox. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I like how fast cool. this feels. Yeah, there's a good sense of speed to it. I am going 197 going? units per time. Ice ice slides per minute. <laughs> I got yeah, this. Yes. There we go. There we go. Oh wow, I'm oh, going hit the really jump. fast. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, oh. Keep it together. There you go, yeah. Rocking this. I don't want to jinx you. I like that I'm doing it essentially backwards while yeah. your character is doing it backwards. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, hit that. Oh. No, oh, I thought it was going to get up. Oh, it's a chasm. This would be one of those chasms, maybe. Or if you can just brute force your way out of it. Uh. <laughs> Just yeah. face, just face sliding. I don't know if I can. No, I don't think you can. Probably not. Right? If that thing is in a incline. Yeah. And no. it isn't. <laughs> All right. Maybe Very one cool. more go. Awesome. Okay. So uh, while we're doing this, um, let's start opening up to questions. But why don't we give them a, a run through on what they need to do before that? Um, so yeah. uh, before you start asking questions, you're gonna wanna go to your Roblox settings. That's that little uh, uh, gear icon in the top right of your screen. Um, and then go under privacy and you'll see who can invite me to VIP servers. Change that to all users. You can change it back after, but it'll need to be set to that so that we can invite you to a super secret private game of Death Run with us, Wesley, the team that built the game, and a bunch of you guys. It's like a crazy 50 person server. We're gonna get people in there and we're gonna play some Death Run all together. It's gonna be awesome. So once you do that, uh, start thinking of your questions, you're gonna wanna put them right here in the Twitch chat. I'm monitoring it right here. And after you ask your question, put your Roblox username so that I know who to actually invite. So do that. Uh, remember, we're looking for, you know, ask Wesley questions about his development. You can ask him personal questions, uh, not too personal. Um, and then uh, we're also looking for cool suggestions for, uh, for Death Run 3. So if you have a really great idea you want to share with them, now's a good time to do that. 
Um, Andrew's going to continue to try to beat this unbeatable game because it's a, a nearly never ending uh, ice slide. But we're doing that. I'm still loving this uh, Castle Crashers music. So good. Yeah, it gets, me, it gets me going. It's high energy. Cool. Right. Let's Get see. Um, so. Can I just ask quickly? I don't know if you can explain it quickly, but who did uh, who did the generation of the tunnel on this, and how does that work exactly? That was no my zone modi again. Okay, and it's it's so you said it's procedurally generated. It's different every time. It is. I think it is uh, generated using a Bezier curve algorithm. Ah, all right. And all sorts of complicated of, things of that I can. Of course. <laughs> Math. Math. Yeah. I love yeah, that. I gotta think. Yeah, guys, everybody. Math's important, everybody. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, first question from Zuxium. Uh, where did you learn uh, how to script? Um, so at the time uh, when we were to create Defran, which is I think four or five years ago, that was the first time when I touched the script. Um, at the time, there was this minigame place made by Half Me, which was in copy locked, and I just took a copy of it and started changing the scripts around to see what they did, and I totally broke the place. So then I got a friend of mine to help me, and I just learned from changing things, seeing what they do, uh, reading the wiki. There actually was a wiki at the time. <laughs> Very cool. Um, Triple X Rage Gamer Triple X uh, wants to know how long it took you to complete and release Death Run. The first one or the second one? Probably the second one. Let's go with the second one. For a little second, bigger. Yeah. So for the second one, we started developing in 2012, and then we kept going for like a month. Then we did not touch it for half a year, and then in the summer holiday of 2013, we went back to it and um, started developing, and then it was released in December, I think. So on and off for five months. Okay. Cool. Um, user Sammy the Pup wants to has a suggestion for Death Run Three, which is uh, different lobbies after the round, so that you have a wider variety of things to do when you're between games. No well, activities such yeah. as we currently have the Squeef Arena. That's definitely gonna stay. Uh, the new lobby for Death Run Three is gonna have a lot more activities. I think currently on our idea board is even a mini game mode where you have like a separate. Uh, thing of rounds if you die. Um, somebody has also been working on a lobby system that allows us to uh, basically create uh, death run games as you go. So that if you die, you can wait like 10 to 20 seconds for the next round and then teleport to another server so that you'll never have to wait in the lobby. So that oh, should wow. reduce the amount that's, of board. This. That's awesome. Um, Big Joe does Roblox 1217, who didn't actually give me his Roblox username, um, wants to has a suggestion for uh, having dead runners help out the living runners. So this is something that also ties into map building, and that we're definitely evaluating for a different tree. Um, we're kind of the original idea was to have this platform in the middle of the map, and if you die, you could go there and watch the runners. Uh, we've been thinking of having traps for the deaf people to um, activate, such as they can trigger a rock fall or something, or water to rise. Um, so that's currently in prototyping, and we will definitely see if that is fun. And if it is, then we will implement it. Very cool. Um, Avulsive uh, wants to know uh, how you and Zombody met and got started collaborating. Um, that is a tricky one. I actually don't know. You don't remember how you met him? <laughs> no, I do remember that. Uh, we <laughs> met in real life, and then we figured that we both played Roblox, and we got talking by Skype, and then he joined the team later on. Right. That's awesome. That's kind of like the opposite of how uh, yeah. most of the Roblox collaborations start. We, uh, we saw a lot of people at RDC recently who, like, had been collaborating for a while online, but had never met each other in person. Yeah, it's kind of the opposite, which is <laughs> weird. But. Um, Diblings wants to know if you have plans to have more than one killer in Death Run 3. So in Death Run 1, that was the case. I think we supported up to three. Um, and the feedback that we got from that was a lot of chaos. And people didn't like it when another person would press the button before them. Um, and they just started accusing each other of ruining the game. So we took that out for Death Run 2. Um, the game does support having multiple killers, we just didn't enable it. Uh, so we might 
think about it for different three. It really depends on the maximum amount of players because when you only play with 10 people in a server, you don't want three killers. Yeah. What do you, do you have any, I don't mean to steal anybody's questions, but any thoughts on what the max player count will be on three? Any different? So on two, it is 15. That is currently working. Uh -huh. uh, it really depends on the feature that um, having walkthrough uh, characters okay, that gotcha. is probably going to take a lot of networking. Right. Um, Foxy rocks all right. I'm picking you guys by awesome names. Um, has a suggestion for Death Run 3, a mode where you're able to launch and hit other players so that you can win by yourself. So kind of kind of the exact opposite of what you're you're that actually working on. Based. Yeah. Basically, people want Death Run One back, <laughs> Bring, well. bringing back old Roblox. We have been thinking of uh, events happening. So if you've played Super Bomb Survival by Tyler McBride, if you mm -hmm. haven't, you should totally do that. Um, he has these events that happen throughout the rounds, and we thought that is a very cool thing to have. Um, so it would definitely be possible to just give players weapons at random times. That would be interesting. That would be cool. I just, uh, I'm in the VIP server right now. It's full somehow. Um, oh, but, the VIP servers? Yeah, but uh, oh wait, sorry. So there's like there's an open there's an open one, and then we're adding a special VIP. Oh, this one. isn't yeah. the the VIP server. It's the it's the Twitch server kind, but it's not the special okay. VIP one. So let me know when I should join that. So all y'all are getting a special like Twitch cameo. So you're welcome. Um, so uh, also, cool thing, if you get into the VIP server, I'll actually just grow you thousands of coins so that you can buy everything you want. There you go. Ooh. So yeah, heads up everybody. Everyone whose names I'm reading who are getting in the VIP server are getting tons of coins. Um, user Maxim26 um, wants to know if you're gonna add things like uh, game passes or VIP or anything. Um, so currently with Death Run 2, we have a bunch of them. Uh, one that unlocks a map chooser, we have one for double the chance of getting uh, selected as a killer. And we have a bunch of them that uh, basically make items cheaper or grant you more coins. Uh, we might have those, but we are probably going to move away from game passes into uh, developer products, as those are like more viable in the long term. Mm -hmm. um, but that's something we haven't decided on yet. Very cool. Um... Apple God um, wants to know, when you first started out on Roblox, did you ever imagine yourself becoming successful like you are now? Or were you more uh, of a player at the time? At first? I had uh, a bunch of friends that were like popular at the time, and I was like, oh my god, I'm never going to do this. I'm not even going to try. And I didn't really change that attitude throughout the years until it like happened. And that was amazing. And I couldn't sleep for an entire night. I just stayed up and played with all the people <laughs> that played my game, which was amazing. That's and, so awesome. That's, nice awesome. That That's a uh, feeling that not everybody gets to experience, but more and more people are getting to now. Yeah. yeah. So that, keep at it, everybody. Yeah. Like, you know, you a lot of people. So to into this, how long were you playing on Roblox before like that event happened? I think that was about two to three years. Okay, see, there you guys go. So, like, a lot of these, it's not an overnight thing. Like, people put in years of uh, kind of work and playing and studying and, you and stuff. And probably create a lot of terrible games before your first game that people start playing. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's just and don't, you should. Go don't make get terrible games. Yeah, if one, the first one flops, or the first five flopped. <laughs> in my case. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's throw some like easy ones as well. You guys are asking awesome questions. Thank you so much. Um, we're trying to let's try to get a bunch more people into this server. So uh, start asking them some fluff questions. Let's find out <laughs> more about Wesley. Like I want to like know food preferences. Yeah, or favorite band. Was, um, or you not. mentioned that you have uh, two dogs. What do you? Yeah. What kind of dogs do you have? Um, we have two German Shepherds. Awesome. And one cross of a Golden Retriever and White Labrador. Okay. Very cool. Which one of your dogs is your favorite? Oh, ouch. Um, <laughs> ouch. Now we're asking hard questions. Hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm totally asking hard ones. Hey, All right. Times in front of me. <laughs> Somebody says Rihanna, 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 Rihanna. I'm not sure that's, that's a question. A solid I think question. that might be a suggestion for Death Run 3. Can you add eight Rihannas? <laughs> I might be able to. You can okay, transform great. every character into Rihanna. That'd be great. If Next, Rihanna Next was one of the eight? playable characters, I would always pick her. 
Yeah. Obviously. Well, if you have eight, you have plenty to choose from. So. I'd be like, I'd be like, Andrew, let's go play a death run. Nah, 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 come on. <laughs> and I'd say, what? <laughs> what? But yes, let's do that. Uh, let's see. Two or three killers in separate plays. Lots of people want multiple killers in uh in Death Run Three. Wait, is that uh, is that you? No, that's my uh, that's my the guy who like basically went all talented Mr. Ripley and, and became me. Oh yes, okay. Tigers in the Blocks. Like, there's a Baymax. <laughs> Wait, as as that, there's a Baymax. Stuff. Hey Baymax. Awesome. I think I'll just promise that we're gonna have two killers in Death Run Three, and we'll just see how that goes. So expect that. Oh, all right. There you go. That's big. Um, let's see, Zekers uh, wants to know about um, map design, which we kind of talked about, but um, the, the I, I guess my question is, and this is probably more a question for Zombody, but maybe you can answer, um, is are there any like plugins or anything that you guys use for map design specifically? Because a lot there of people kind of- There are a lot of plugins, honestly. Uh, we have one for land generation. We have a bunch of plugins for trees. We have fences. We have even a tool that allows you to create a house with only one click. And he spent a lot of time on creating those. And wow. they are absolutely amazing. Wow, so they're custom made plugins? They are. Does he also, have them available for people to use? Um, some of them are. If you go to his profile and scroll to the inventory section, there are, I think, the tree generators free to use. And they're extremely powerful. And also, he made some map for map paintball for them, I believe, and also a variety of other games. That's awesome. All right, guys, start telling me your uh, usernames. I'm just going to start adding a few of you in here. Uh, Toadman383 says, what's your favorite type of script? That's a broad question. Favorite type of script. Local or regular, I guess, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or modular. I think it has to be a local script. <laughs> uh, Timmy9412 wants a, wants a duck mascot. A duck mascot in death room, that is? There's a duck that in the lobby. There is a duck in the lobby, right? Yeah. There is. I was yeah. standing on it not long ago. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say. Um, I'm saying that a lot. Oh, no. Let's see here. I'm going to add the epic muncher. I forgot should, I have to actually tell you guys when I'm adding you so you know. Should I go to the you server now? You invite me as well. As I'm yes, I did. I did. Mr. Puffin1, let's get you in there. Should I head over? Yeah, let's head over. All right. Let me uh, actually save this so that everyone... How do I find it? Um, You go down. You click on... That's that one. It joined oh, that. I joined the wrong... Oh, right, I get it. There you go. <laughs> We're going to get in here. I'm everybody who... uh. Everyone whose name I've said out loud, you're all in here. Uh, so, Let's do this. So hop in with us. Uh, we're playing we're with, with we're Wesley. playing with Wesley. Oh, here he is. Yeah, there he is. Look at that. Um, some people wanted to know what your favorite hat is on Roblox. I imagine it's uh, the one you're wearing. But. Well, I have been wearing this outfit for like three years, so definitely these ones. That's good. What what crown is that? I have no clue what, <laughs> what the name that's is. called. Somebody in the chat, tell me what hats Wesley's wearing and I'll add you to the server with us. <laughs> well, trivia. Very, yeah, there are, a lot of people are going to know that. Is that multiple hats or just one? It looks like at least uh, two. Multiple. Okay. All right, I love this map. I love the physics actions that happen. Yeah. Fear me, I am lag. I'm adding you to this server uh, because I totally stole your uh, Tumblr pictures today for Instagram. So thank you. Man, were you just immediately... Immediately yeah, out. I, you know, <laughs> I knew it was coming, and uh, so I waited, and that wasn't good enough. But now we're spectating Wesley. No pressure or anything here, but Tabby we, we got a camera on you. Two wants to know what your favorite type of muffin is. Chocolate, definitely. Chocolate muffins. Not brand yeah. muffin, right? Not brand. <laughs> not, not banana nut. Nope. Well, in America, we had there are a lot of crazy flavors. Here, we just <laughs> have to play in ones. We have vanilla, chocolate, and that's it. All right. Are uh, muffins your favorite breakfast like pastry? Yeah, uh, I yes. Yes. <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite like traditional Dutch food? Traditional Dutch food. Um. That's a different, difficult one. I think I really like cheese, which is, I just eat that every morning. <laughs> like the big, like, red wax covered. Like, yeah, and you just slice some slices of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. I like that. I'm gonna give that 
I'm going to give credit to that question to uh, Dex Rev because you pretty much asked the same thing, so I'll okay. uh, also, throw Hoggle you in there. Hogglestock. Hogglestock yep. is, is fantastic. For those of you who've never had Hogglestock, it's uh, chocolate sprinkles that um, you put on things. I would always put on toast in the morning, um, put a little like butter on the toast, and then put the Hogglestock on, and then like put it in my uh, toaster oven, and it would melt. Um, and that was considered a healthy breakfast for me. I just ate, like, dessert and... Yeah, it's just chocolate. You just eat chocolate and cookies all the time. Cheese and chocolate for breakfast. Cheese and chocolate, This is the place I want You should all be Dutch. It's pretty great. It is. Yeah, it's the best. (laughs) That's... The last two guests we had have been Dutch. It's just gonna be all Dutch guests from now on. That's... I'm running this show. (laughs) Um, Ninja Man Truong. I'm adding you to the server, too. Just feeling generous. Let's get you in there. Nice. Yeah. Get more people. I figure if we can get 50 people in here, why the not? The 50 Let's... player Death Run server I've discovered in the last 10 minutes, kind of insane. Especially in the, yeah. <laughs> any level that has interior kind of space. Everybody's yeah, like trying to get through the mine shaft and it's just oh god, insane. Yeah. It's fun though, in a weird way. I don't suppose you'll be keeping 50 player servers for, for <laughs> Death Run 3. No. All right, here we go. That would be a good idea. Um, Joe Plays wants to know why you picked the name Wesley. Because it is very similar to my IRL name. There you go. I left out the E's, and that's it. I was uh, I was trying to figure out if if it was Wesley or Weasley, or just like if it, there was so many different ways. It's like when you see a license plate that's customized, and you're like mm-hmm. deciphering it. <laughs> they come up with all these weird pronunciations. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, let's. See. Oh, he went down. I didn't fall into the abyss. I feel so proud. Oh, this guy's got a flaming head. <laughs> oh my gosh! Sorry, user uh, Brand Muffin. We were just talking about <laughs> Brand Muffins. I didn't actually add you to the server. You got excited for hearing your name, but if it is the same as your Twitch name, I'm gonna add you right now. Cause why not? Let's do this. I love that someone's name is Brand Muffin. Uh, nope, that's not a username. Oh, we're, Sorry. oh well, it is now. So yeah, Brand Muffin, that. tell me what your uh, real name is and we'll add you in there. Someone's going to be like, someone's going to come up here as like Chocolate Muffin and be like, yo, where am I? <laughs> Good. Oh. Um, we got a guy named in here called Paper Moons who uh, says he named one of your maps. Which one? Uh, the map Treacherous Taiga. Oh yeah, we took uh, user suggestions from those. That's there you go. Name. Oh, that's cool. So you do user suggestions for things. That's yeah. neat. Paper Moons, I added you to the server. Get in here. Is that fun? Oh, I love the flowing lava in this map. That's super cool. Yeah. Get that coin. No, you don't want that coin. Didn't oh, that, that, that guy. You're not playing. You other guy. <laughs> oh wait, Wesley, you're the killer. Yep. You did that to me. <laughs> Are you in the server? No, yeah. you're not. Are you? <laughs> I'm jacking the blocks. Oh, yeah. Not really. Oh, yeah. I'm Jack in the Box. <laughs> He's playing as Jack in the Box. So that oh, I can add playing. things to the server on my account. It's oh, very complicated to do this. <laughs> um, Bonacock. <laughs> Bonacock. And of course, the one wants to know who it. makes it to the end is fairly boring. Yay. There we go. He got it. He's coming for you. There he goes. Ah. If he can find you. Yeah. Yeah, that will not be an issue for him. Yeah, he's, he's got like, a cave. He's like he knows what he's doing. He's, yeah, he's yeah. a developer, so... <laughs> yeah, he's... Oh, who he's is this? this? Raver Killer? Is that who I'm spectating? Oh, it's Raver, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh you oh, almost juked him. You almost oh. hid. No! <laughs> oh. I've never seen a, oh. uh, this part oh, go yeah. that long. <laughs> you throw it? Can you throw the sword? Uh, I don't know. It, l- it looked like it got you from a distance there. He's got well, some that tricks. might be caused by uh, filtering. Oh, <laughs> well, it works in the in the runner's favor, apparently. Uh, Hero Duty Thirteen wants to know uh, what you do for fun when you're not playing Roblox. Um, I try to snowboard as much as I can, but that's really difficult considering we're in the Netherlands and it's kind of expensive. And lately, I've been not playing a lot of guitar. mountains. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, is anyone else out there snowboard? I wish I snowboarded more. Oh, so you do snowboard. 
Just not a lot. Hey, Snoop, no, so I when I say more, I mean more. like more than once oh, okay. in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have snowboarded. I, I do not consider myself a snowboarder. Um, that said, I did like the snowboarding game on Roblox. Um, Snowtastrophe? Oh, yeah. no, probably the other one. The, that new one that was out earlier this year. Um, a lot of people want to know what your favorite games on Roblox are. Um, that is a very tricky question. Is there Death are two. a lot of them that are absolutely Death love. Run. So lately, I've been like addicted to Super Checkpoint, which I think right? has been on the stream before. Super Checkpoint's amazing. Yeah, uh, that game yeah, is really I just good. Try to get a perfect run. I manage that, and then there's the quick run, which I fill out every time, and I'll never be able to finish it. What do you think I, about? Uh, I try to just beat the game. Perfect run is uh, a. <laughs> <It's just laughs> not gonna no, happen. Yeah, never. <laughs> Have you considered doing something like those character animations in in Death Run? So we actually have some of them already uh, made. So oh. definitely. It makes such a big difference. They do. It's the little things. Also, Dang different tree you also have a lot of different animations. Uh, for, for example, teleporting, um, and we will have emotions and a winning uh, dance and such. Awesome. What is that? Uh, Joe Ed Ya wants to know if you play any team sports. Um, no, I used to play football, but that was a long time ago. When he says football, he means soccer, everybody. <laughs> soccer, yeah. Yeah. The Dutch first. Hoop Holland. <laughs> Um, cool Nathan120 um, wants to know if you're gonna make any other kind of like death like games like death paintball do you plan to like grow that as a brand we're not kind of grown into a brand like uh, Tamos a bit with Twisted uh -huh. um, we have been working on a racing game though um, but it's not gonna have anything to do with death Friend, so unfortunately not okay uh, here's one to put you on the spot right now. Uh, Genevieve wants to know who's your favorite Roblox admin. <laughs> oh, you gotta no, pick. If I have to decide, it has to be Noble Dragon. Noble Dragon. Okay, oh, Noble oh, Dragon. Nice. There you go. Yeah, especially because he's like promising to bring you this pillow. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, have you guys seen this sweet pillow? This is a, yeah, we got a death run two pillow. Second time it's been on the Twitch uh, we channel. We hug it, we love it. It's our favorite pillow. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna trade it with you. Very for cool. Well. Yeah, it's one of the uh, sweet images that you can get in the upcoming Roblox calendar, oh, which uh, you should yeah. uh, That's awesome. stay tuned to the blog for more information on. But yeah, there's that 2016 calendar coming out. And it's gonna have that's it's gonna have that and eleven more amazing images. Finally, um, so it'll be super cool. Um, lots of people want to know what your favorite games kind of like outside Roblox are. Um, um, I've been playing a lot of games lately because I'm in university game development. Um, I've been playing City Skylines for the past few days because it was just absolutely amazing. That me, yeah, that one's so good. Yeah, and I just like to stick to these old classic games such as Team Fortress, which I can play for hours. Very cool. Um, are you a good Team Fortress player? Um, moderate. I like <laughs> to think I am, and then I get killed every time, so... <laughs> um, has your Team Fortress skills made you good at a uh, mad paintball? Um, it might. I do notice that I really like mad paintball, and I try to play it a lot. Um, well, I haven't really played it for the last week or so, so. Cool. Um, but uh, you mentioned uh, you're in university for game design, yeah. um, which is awesome. Uh, do you want to talk a little more about that? Because I think a lot of people sure. kind of hear that would be like their dream for school. <laughs> um, well, it was mine, certainly. Very cool. Did you use Roblox at all to as part of your application process? So for the application process, my school required to have a portfolio, and I definitely included some of the work that I did for Defron and also other Roblox work in general. And I think that really helped because if they see that you have the experience and you know how to make things that people like to play, that really will help you to get into college. That's very cool. Have you found that like your your Roblox development has kind of given you a good like head start? into your university Definitely. classes? 
Um, since Roblox is so fairy, you have all these kinds of things that you can do, uh, mainly programming, you have asset creation, just building in general. Those are basically the three main things that you have in any type of game development. That's awesome. Um, why don't we do one more round? of this man vexedly got in there how does he always manage to get in here how you do that he's like it's, he's like a ghost mod and he like <laughs> just follows me everywhere i'm haunted by him he just invites himself <laughs> yeah he's just there turn around he's like like a japanese horror movie he's just that like little girl in the background of all my photos just that so yeah we're gonna do one more round of this with everybody who's in here i want to uh preemptively uh, thank all of you for tuning in and thank Wesley. Um, but uh, we're gonna make this one count. We're gonna win this one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no problem. See. Yeah. I have yet to win anything. No pressure. You're starting face down on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yeah, this is why uh, you don't put this many people in the server. So we, yeah, we gotta weed out some of the, some of the narbs here so I can... <laughs> I don't even know just if this the, is the uh, trigger. Well, just got it, so it has been taken care of. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, stick with Braver Killer. He knows yep. what's up. This guy, he's legit. Yeah. Oh, we got Wesley here, too. I'm in a good company right now. <laughs> Which does not oh. mean I'm going to stay alive. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, we just lost a couple. I'm going to make a run for it. Do it. Yes. Oh, he's like, oh, like a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> 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 That'd be a great feature for Death Run 3, by the way. Some really terrible death screams. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. So in Crystal Cave Landing, we added the laugh of Shetletsky and people. Love I that heard so that much. actually when I was playing yeah. it before. I was like, wait, what? That's crazy. <laughs> is is Shetletsky here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that for Death Run 3. He, okay. Yeah, give me one of your characters. <laughs> Oh wow, they're here. Doing really well. I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm so I, afraid to jinx you by complimenting <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just so far behind though that they don't even care about me anymore. Yeah, right, they gotta they gotta go after the So basically it's just me against myself. Hi! Hey, oh, what's up, Wesley? Well timed wave <laughs> right good. there. Get that. Oh, oh. Oh. oh wait, is that ground slippery or something? Cause Um, there is like wind that pushes oh, you. Oh, I didn't know that. Pushed us off. I like this blocks yeah. gun poster. I think there used to be a sign, but it was removed for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, there you go, everybody. Can you promotion for yeah. your Twitter right now? Follow can, uh, him on. Uh, can you just vexedly? <laughs> Come on, <Jeez>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Troll. Right. He's our trolliest mod. Yeah. Uh, vexedly. Um, all right, cool. So uh, we're going to wrap this up here. And thank you so much, Wesley, for uh, hanging out with us. Said, you're you in the so Netherlands, much, so it's like midnight for you right now. Yeah. So thanks for staying up and uh, hanging out with us this afternoon. I'm super, super excited to be hearing about Death Run 3. Yes. I think Death Run 2 is probably oh, one, of, one of my all-time favorite all time favorite Roblox games. So I cannot wait for that thing. Um, I don't. Maybe you mentioned it. I've been so absorbed in the game, but any idea when that's going to be coming out? So we try not to make too much promises on that. OK. That's fair. Someday. When it's so done. I can't soon. wait. That's all. Yes. All We're right. very excited for that. So, uh, for those of you watching, thank you all for coming out. Everyone who gave us questions and is playing with us right now, thanks so much for that. We had, this is the best group of questions we've gotten so far. You guys, yeah. you guys are uh, getting good at this. Um, you're smart, smart questions. So I love that. Um, uh, for those of you who missed uh, some of the show, we are going to be embedding it into a blog entry on blog.roblox.com so you can check out the whole thing there later and it will stay up on our Twitch channel right after this. You can watch it right there too. Um, you should follow us on all social media platforms. We are uh, at Roblox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, all of those are awesome. There's different content. There's contests and you can be featured in there. It's super cool. Um, don't go anywhere after this because after we kick off here i'm gonna jump back on on a special bonus stream and we're gonna be giving away more admin eggs as part of the egg hunt 2015 every day uh streaming we're giving away admin eggs so definitely stick around we're we'll coming in here i'm gonna be setting up servers we're gonna be doing this it's gonna be awesome super rad so stay tuned stick around there uh 
And that about wraps it up for this. Uh, I'm Jack in the Blocks. This is Blockhawk. That was Wesley. Thanks again, Wesley. Deathrun 2. Deathrun 3 is coming out soon. Awesome. Yes. yes. Yeah, he's that way. Sorry. <laughs> that guy. Yes. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you in two weeks for another Peace episode. Out. Bye, guys. See ya.